our last day in Florida. This job's got sort of a little bit of this, a little bit of that, working with tree jaws. Again, we've got to get all these cars out of the driveway to make some room. Look how wide that tree is. Here's a, an oak tree that we're gonna be removing. I think they keep with the palm tree that's up there. This tree goes, all this, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know if that's alive or if that's just vines, I don't know, but it gets cut back to the property line. And then we're working on this tree in the neighbor's yard as well. So this is really cool. I've never worked on one of these before. This is a ficus. Big old, ah, oh, jeez, what the heck? Oh, dude. I tried to just push through that. I didn't even know there was thorns on that. Man. But look at the trunk of this thing. It's just gnarly. So we're going to be pruning that. Once again, you know, like Heath was saying, we're, we're working with Heath from Allison Tree Care. Uh, this is actually a customer of his and Treat Jaws and him are kind of working together. But anyways, their trees, they get hit by hurricanes. So a lot of times Heath will take a, a mature tree and just remove the furthest extended limbs on it, which reduces the size of the tree a little bit, but keeps it looking natural. And that just toughens it up for the hurricanes so that they don't lose the, the trees. It's a really great way of doing tree preservation. So that's a ficus and we're gonna be doing some cuts on that. That'll be really interesting. I hear that the sap on these is really thick. It's like Elmer's glue is what I hear. But look at that trunk, it's just gnarly. It's just so wild. Wait, this, how would you even remove that? It's so weird. It's gotta be some really weird tension and compression cutting this thing. Here's oh. Randy. Randy's gonna remove this ficus. <laughs> Go ahead and get it faced up. Guy. <laughs> guy. Oh yeah. He only he only prunes palms these days. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is interesting to me. <laughs> yeah, this is more my, my level. Is, Ran, yeah, Randy's level. He's he's a he's a palm pruner. Yeah, I'm a palm guy now. These days. Yeah, what are these guys? Just out of the ground potato or what? Dude, they... bite it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the ground I don't show. know. Just out of the ground potato? I just didn't know this thing was dropping. So I'm looking for more, maybe something. Did it come from the sky or the ground? <laughs> Busted open. Let's see what it is, but I'm not powerful. We'll never say I'm not powerful enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weak. Well, All right, well, let's uh, get these cars moved and let's get let's get to work. I'm squeezing under that thing barely. Here's the oak from the roof. Look at this cut. That's a beauty. Man, that is a <laughs> nice cut there. Man, who did that? Mitch has got two saws down there, two heads. Looks like he's going for the bigger one. He usually uses the bigger one, but the smaller one, uh, because the big saw weighs 700 pounds more than the little one. Sometimes he'll use the little one when he's got to reach really, really far away because that gives him, you know, 700 pounds more capacity that he can hold. So that's why he's got two sizes, but he usually just uses the big one. If he can use the big one, he just uses it. The small one's also easier to, you know, get into tight spots to grab things. <laughs> you didn't expect that much me. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, good. Cut. Cut. Nice. It's 8.35 a.m. Let's see how long this takes.
three jaws, baby. So amazing that he can squeeze this thing in to places like this, like, you know, underneath this tree, that tree behind him. I mean, he could really get this thing in a lot of places. You know, he can go over this tree. He can go under trees if he needs to. It's just so handy. That's awesome. Just put things right in the street over there. That's so cool. Another really awesome thing I love about the knuckle booms is that he can, you know, he can walk around with it. He's not glued to the cab like a stick boom. <laughs> Man, that's cool. Yeah. Twist it and set it yeah. that side so it doesn't come back to, to the cables and uh, hose it. Twist it away from the cables? Yeah. 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 That's cool. combination of two buttons so you this is the grab right see if i release this way yeah. it let, it's letting go now you see okay see okay so that's that's this way let's go and this way grabs it okay. try try to see how it grab it oh it's got a little delay is like it like it Look, if, if I let you swing the branch all over there, this is the rotation, right? So we, you have to be very gentle with that. Like, don't okay. don't do that. Like, the, 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 just yeah. very barely touching and stuff. Okay. I'll show you that when the time comes. Okay. Now let's just focus on cutting. So uh, combination of that, you, you have to hold the grab. If you let it go, it, it will stop cutting, right? And so you have to hold it while you. Yeah, cut. both combination. Okay. Yeah. So. That, that's a good thing, you know, if you're playing with the saw close to you, so you don't get yeah. in trouble or whatever. Okay. Uh, so this button and this uh, will be the cut it. Okay. But this button, when you engage, you have to hold it too, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So whenever you're ready, just hold this and, and hold this too. Okay. This is how we would uh, retract that, uh, that okay. jib. So the jib is just the last section, yeah, right? Retracted. Yeah, okay. And then... Uh, you can use this one, look, this one, to slowly, but slowly engage move and move it up. Yeah. Okay. Slowly turn it up. Yeah, turn it up. So now do I, uh... Yeah, Fold it. Okay, right, I think I, I think I do. Maybe. Well, how do I retract the main boom? So uh, I mean, you don't have to. Oh, uh, I don't have. I just need to go down. Yeah, you, you can do this. Okay, so yeah, push okay. this one, and that's gonna bring it down. down. Just whatever you do, don't don't touch this. Don't open that one. Okay. Okay, that's the that's the cloth. Okay, that's about it, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Don't go lower. 
Okay. We'll keep going with the main boom uh, down. That's third from the left. That, that was uh, this one. Right? Yeah, okay. You want to swing the boom a little bit more on the right. And that was... Uh, That's the first think, one on the yeah, left. Yeah, I think it was this one, right? Down. Mike, clear to drop it. So go a little lower and then drop it. Lower. A little lower, okay. That's a easy drop. See if I can drop it. Yeah, so it's this it. one, so right? Just yeah, hold me right. Just open up. Awesome, man. Woo! That was that for a first experience. Great. I'm gonna be a contract grapple truck operator. That's, hey, that's my idea. You <laughs> yeah, I don't want to buy one though. I'm just gonna. Hey, I'll hire you. Yeah. Good. I feel like the controls kind of like are intuitive a little bit. Like, uh, especially I don't know. Once you do it for a little while, man. Like you see, yeah, like, you, you I'm, don't even I'm think engaging about it like four at once, and I don't even think about it. I yet. know, because when I ask you like which one is the main, I boom, wouldn't know. You, yeah. you don't know. You have to yeah. look at it. Yeah, that's funny, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you can't like, tell me without yeah, just I, I, doing I remember it. that even since I was doing a grapple truck, like they would ask me, what do you do with this one? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, yeah. Once I like, sit there, like just like I just fly around. Like I don't even think yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But like right. to articulate it, like it's it's hard, you know. Right, right. That was really fun. Thank you for letting me do yeah, that. No, that absolutely. was really cool. It's so cool how they can just go totally like sideways like this, you know. Nice, Mitch. That's what I would have done too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom up, boom up. Yep. Retract. Yep. Yep. That's, uh, that's how it's done. Nice, no rigging, no lowering, no nothing. Just making it disappear, so cool. No dragging. So this one's kind of awkward. It's like, does he make a bunch of little tiny cuts or does he, if he cuts it here, this thing will be tip heavy. 
and it can hit the roof so he's just gonna grab it there and I'm gonna cut it right in here with my 46. Randy, you gave me a saw that threw a chain. Why would you do that to me? You want <laughs> We're gonna cut this palm all the way down, okay? Cut the palm? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he just told us that's going to. Okay. <laughs> too bad yeah and actually so when I was in Pennsylvania I did that black cherry I had the low record blues brop 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 and this actually is the same exact chain and all I did was I went home and sharpened it again which shortened the teeth a little bit and you can hear I still got a little bit of the blues going but it's not as bad I was able to get through that piece pretty easily so probably sharpen it one more time and it'd be perfect for this hardwood but I hadn't cut anything since that cherry with this chain but you know because the, the tooth is sloped like that as you sharpen it it gets shorter and shorter so I bet if I sharpen it just a little more I, actually you know what I'm gonna leave it like this because I'm gonna go home and it's I bet it'll be perfect for our trees this is oak you know pretty pretty hard do you want this one down at the union oh, yeah no, no.
taking care of this one. Nastiness. He made a cut on that viney nasty ass. I probably won't film all these <laughs> little viney cuts. He's kind of good. Ah. Wow, what a mess. Not strong enough for that one. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Dude, these ones are not. Yeah, this is crazy. I need a 6'3 beast of a man. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I get to cut? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Or, uh, do you remember you... how? What? Do you remember how? Yeah, I don't know. You saw a handsaw. I'm a pruner guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a brush guy. Just think of it as a pruning cut. Uh, he like said right above that hole. Yeah. Here's good. Yeah. Sure. Give me the thumbs up. That's a 25 inch bar, it seems to be good for size for traveling. Yeah, that seems to be like really good size for traveling. Yeah. What's what's going on here? So uh we we're, we're testing one of those grapple trucks from Apex today. Uh they brought this brand new Kenworth. So yeah, I'm so excited. Look at this brand new and beautiful. So yeah, I'm thinking about buying one of these. And uh my first grapple truck came from them too. And uh, they did a great job with uh, building first gopper truck for me. So this is. Uh, so you're demoing this one yeah, today. Yeah, we're testing this one today. This thing looks brand new. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's never used before. Man, that is shiny. So you bought your first grapple truck, and then yeah, then you traded that for the too. grapple saw, and now you're looking at grapple trucks again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, so you're testing this out. Yeah, grapple truck is just the best way for whenever you need to. Oh shit! Whenever you need to, you know, like pick up big logs and stuff. Chipper is good, uh, great for branches and stuff like that. But you know, when it comes to those big logs and stuff, nothing beats grapple truck. Awesome. And since we have so so much removals, that's big majority of our work, right? Yeah, that's it cool. Just you, makes so much sense to have grapple truck. You've time. worked with these guys before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see this truck was never used before. Everything's brand new. Man. Man. Only, only the best for Mitch. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Vines. Nasty. Position the load to be on my right hand side. You see how I'm sitting on the right hand side? Because this is in your obstructing yeah. your vision. So I would have come both here over Yeah. So if I was gonna drive it, you know, I would come around and uh, bring it so I can see better. Now I can see it as well. So you would have flipped it around and yeah. That makes sense. What's the 
this thing look like. Whew, it's shiny in here. It's also very cold in here. <laughs> it's nice. Backing in for setup two. I'm gonna work on this ficus. Well, cool, man. That's a nice track. It's yeah, nice to meet you, nice man. Nice meeting you. What is your name? Where do uh, people find you? Jordan. Um, we're, uh, we're, we're Apex Equipment out of West Palm Beach, Florida. You can find us on the web, apexequipment.com. Um, call our office, 561 842 0101. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We had a great day here with Tree Jaws. It's bringing the outriggers out. Don't want to get clamped <laughs> down. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, man, we had a great day. Brought a nice 22, 2022 Kenworth T880 dump body rotaback grapple truck. Um, loaded those logs with ease, no? Yeah, and it was awesome. It was pretty easy. Popped yeah. up in the, uh, in the cab, PTO on, boom, ready to go. Had those logs all loaded, what, within 30 minutes? Yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah. yeah, Mitchell, take it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> any, any yeah. Any truck, any truck. Yeah, yeah, he'll take it. Awesome, man. No, it's awesome, yeah. It's good, good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, too. Right. I better get up this fight. Yeah, guess. thank you, Jordan, for coming, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh man, my rope stinks. It's wet from the canal yesterday. Ugh, that was horrible. Rope out. Welcome to my ficus. <laughs> Nice, nice breeze. Nice breeze. Been oh a boy. That's gonna be a bugger to get up to. I know, so I'm just making, getting ready to go start my commute over there. Try to get you around. I, I came all the way, tied all the way up here just so I can start. Just so you can start up there? Yeah, I want to uh, tie into that thing. So you kind of got that side, I guess? I don't know. But we gotta wait for him to put on his, uh, he's gonna be doing the main cuts. We're just gonna cut guys, right? I think he's gonna grab and we're gonna cut. I don't know. I'm good, I don't care what we do. I'm in Florida, we're in the sun, the breeze is blowing. Yeah, I don't care, this is awesome. Cut this whole tree down if you want. I'll, <laughs> I'll top it, all heading cuts. All heading cuts. <laughs> I don't care, I'm just having a good time. So, this is a... Ficus. Ficus tree? Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, it is. Did you already toss your rope? Yeah, did you? Yeah, this tree's kind of grippy. You notice that? Like, it's easy to stand on the branches. It's pretty laddery. Pretty laddery, yeah. Probably can't really see what's going on over there. Just nibbling off some tips, just to make it a little stronger in the wind. It's actually really nice having two climbers up here. Yes. You see any glue? What? Did you see any gluey sap? Not expecting that. Gluey? That. Whoa. I blink and you're in a different part of the tree. It's so nimble. Pretty <laughs> nimble for a big boy. Yeah. Like a koala or a bear. A koala bear? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. You dropped your handsaw? Yeah. Well, well, well. Look how the turntables. Look how the tables turn. <laughs> Do you want my handsaw or my chainsaw? Uh, yeah. Oh, use that. Hold on, I dropped my handsaw. I'm going to take the train. Will someone go under and see if I can find my handsaw? You want me to throw it? That's a boss move, but yeah. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> because you're hot, then you're cold. You're yes, then you're no. Your chainsaw, then your handsaw. <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's got to stay clipped to me. 
this tree company <laughs> never pruning without a crane again see this glue oh weird what do you think Randy how do I look <laughs> uh, I'm immediately jealous I'm ready for war yeah you're ready for war dude is that real is like glue? glue like they I don't know make sure I don't get this on my GoPro lens <laughs> Courant Stilio available at Sap Supplies very soft and malleable wire core flip line and my favorite device, the Rope Runner Pro, also be a little sack supplies that can... Kinda scary. Yeah! Yeah, you got it! You got the good one, too! Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, ready? See that glue? Weird, man. Looks just like the Sapodilla tree. Eh, get away my flip line away from that. Can you imagine removing one of these, man? That would be so nasty. Right here, right now, no. Alright, you're on. Thank you so much, Dick. You're welcome. I got you. Even though you didn't lay out my outfit for me this morning like you said you would. <laughs> Last cut of the day. Yep. Nice. Thank you. Would you look at that? This tree actually looks really good. All right. Head on down. Nice work, Randy. You're a crown reducer now. <laughs> Did anybody else do nice work? Anybody else? It's just oh, Randy. Um, the people planted them somewhere else. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was up there too. I figure, you know, you get bragged all the time. It's just a it's handler. Still, not in person though. He it's needs affirmation. Online. Yeah. So you guys doing this is really cool. This is what I'm trying to get Mitch to add as a service. We have a lot of lawn companies that do tree work. They got buckets and chippers and stump grinders and mini skis. They got everything. But they need help with a few selective hazard pieces. So you can see a little rusty using a gravel. I'm sure a crane would have been faster or whatever. But you guys are more used to communicating. But that for him is a great service. Yeah, you absolutely. Want all I've said, like, actually, you can't even tell we did anything in this tree. Yeah. But we we took out, what, seven, like, big, big lens, huge yeah. lens. Right. Again, the number one focus down here is my is my tree safe in a storm. Totally. That's all I get. That's, that's totally. why we get so busy during hurricane season because they want to make the tree safe in a storm. Yeah, so that's interesting. Can, so I did a quick little video summary for her, but I can show her she's at work, and then I can show her she's gonna come home and say, "What did you guys do?" Totally. And then I'll say, "Right." Yeah. It's like a haircut. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you were sorry. I didn't know you were doing making a video. But that is the best kind of pruning. Yeah, it is the best. Yeah. It's not the funnest. Pruning, yes. Removals are, are more fun, I guess. But no. No, can, yeah, you don't want to look at the tree and be like, oh man, they cut a lot out of that. Right. That's perfect. But I can show her what was on the ground, seven massive limbs. Yeah. And she's going to want to know, did you guys do it yet? That's totally. like spot on. So, and yeah, I, uh, there's something to that. Like, I worked with the guy when we would do pruning projects. If the customers. A lot of times he would say, well, just chip everything at the end of the day so they can see how much brush there is. Right. Because otherwise they'll be like, oh, you didn't do anything. But when they actually see the brush before it goes through the chipper, right. then they're like, wow, you cut a lot out of those trees. And I knew that. So she trusts me. So you took me. like a picture or a video of I the did. brush? I so did. We got some trust, but she just would like to know. Like, what did you guys do again? 
that really is like the best kind of pruning, you know, and you can sneak stuff out. It makes perfect sense, right? It catches a lot of wind in the storm. Just take out the few longest limbs. You, know, you take out the shortest limbs and it just gets lankier and lankier. It catches a bunch of wind. So just take out the shortest ones. I mean, the, <laughs> the opposite, take out the longest, some of the longest ones. And you really can't even tell what we did, you know? It's a little, the canopy's a little thinner, but you would never be able to tell. Sneaking them out, it's a great way to just, you know, strengthen the tree like we've already t been talking about. Same thing with that live oak, you know? So, yeah, the tree's done. That was a ficus. That was pretty cool. I'm wrapping up this YouTube video. So, you know, thanks to these guys, yeah, Mitch, yeah. Heath, Nick, Randy, for all coming out here. This oh, was right super here. cool to see how they do tree work in Florida. We're just doing some fishing. We got the sunset behind us. And yeah, just thanks for having us out, guys. We just have no to worries. Out really appreciate it. Do it again. Awesome. All right, I'll see you guys later.